Lord be with you. It's good to be here to share in this act of collective worship. We meet in the presence of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And we light this candle to remind us of God's presence here with us now. I wonder if any of you have been making New Year's resolutions. It's something many people do uh, around about the turn of the year. And I wonder if you know the most common resolutions that people make. In 2016, somebody compiled a list and here it is. Number one, do more exercise. Number two, eat more healthily. Number three, drink less alcohol. Number four, learn new things. Number five, lose weight. Number six, focus on career. Number seven, nurture relationships. Number eight, stop smoking. Number nine, travel to new places. And number 10, give to charity. It's not a bad list. It wasn't uh, the one I made this year. It doesn't feature amongst that. Mine, again, is to tidy my study. And one day, if I ever achieve it, I will uh, show you my study all tidied up. The problem with New Year's resolutions is that very often they don't last beyond the first week in January. Nonetheless, they can be good things because they help us to identify areas that we realise need to change in our lives, things we want to do differently, things we might do better. Now, I've got some things here to show you. I had hoped that at the point you were viewing this assembly, I might be wearing one of these because I was supposed to be going on holiday to a sunny place in the Canary Islands. But with all the uncertainties surrounding Covid and what governments might or might not decide to do, I think I'm more likely to be needing one of these because I'm going to be in the UK still. We cancelled. I'd hoped that I might be wearing one of these, having a lovely swim in the sea. Mmm, I like swimming in the sea. Unfortunately, I think it's a great deal more likely that I'm going to be needing this in the UK. At the start of the year, we make decisions about appropriate clothing. If we're going on holiday, maybe it's a sun hat and a swimming costume. If we're in the UK, more likely to be an umbrella and a raincoat. In the same way, we can make choices about the attitudes that we're going to put on this year. So I've got some possible attitudes to show you. We can choose to be helpful or we can choose to be unhelpful. We can choose to be kind or we can choose to be unkind. We can choose to persevere when the going gets tough or we can choose to give up at the first hurdle. At the beginning of a new year is a good time to decide the kind of person we want to be and the kind of attitudes we want to have. I wonder which set of attitudes you think would be the best to have for the coming year. I think it would be a good thing if we resolved to be helpful and kind and to persevere. 
Maybe you can think of some other good qualities too. So let's have a moment's reflection. Each and every one of us make a huge difference to the people around us by the way we behave. I wonder how you want to behave this year. I wonder how you want to work. I wonder how you want to treat other people. I'm going to say a short prayer now. And if you'd like to make it your own, please say Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you that we are all important and that each one of us makes a huge difference to the world around us. Please help us to make good choices this year and to always see the value of each other. Amen. I'll see you again soon.